Okay, so uh, a couple different uh, different things. Um, on the G system, I've got uh, one, one of the really cool things is all the different uh, buttons on it. You know, obviously you use to turn on and off effects. They're also rotary encoders, so you turn them to modify things within presets. But uh, one of the really cool things you can do with the buttons is you can you can change what they do. So you can actually like configure them. You know, it comes configured in a kind of standard way that it, TC does it from the factory. But if you want to make a button do something else, like send a MIDI continuous controller message or something like that, you can configure them to do that. So it's really cool. So what I what I have right now is this button right here. I got configured to uh, to you, uh, there's a head switcher back in my rack, and it'll switch between my my two different heads, the divided by thirty and the PT100 yeah, head. Cool. So that's one thing I did on the G system that's kind of custom. So do you have that so. programmed into the presets as well, the amp switching? I do, yeah, I got okay. a program per preset, what, what amp I'm supposed to be on. Yeah, very cool. Know. And uh, also in the G system, uh, there's, there's two relay foot switching jacks on it, so you can really do like a multitude of different, you know, if you've got a fairly complex setup, which I guess I sort of do. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> using uh, long and the short of it is using the G system. I can actually switch between both heads, and then on the other head, on the PT100 head, I can change channels on that head and also turn on and off a gain boost. Yeah. So it's so it's quite flexible setup there. Yeah. Really flexible setup. Yeah. And every preset in the G system, I can you know set it up to go to the heads and do whatever I want. So it's yeah. great. So basically, you've got. <laughs> So that's that's the uh, the divided by 13 head you're hearing right now. If I hit this switch, I'm going to be on the uh, channel two dirty channel. That's the dirty channel of the uh, of the PT100 head. So yeah. really easy if on the fly I'm in it. I'm in a preset and I'm like, oh, I want to get clean for a minute. I can just. <laughs> You know, change change from one channel or one amplifier to the other very simply. So that's really cool. Very cool, yeah. Yeah. That's my basic dirt tone. What I've got going is is essentially it's uh, it's it's just the uh, channel two on the PT100, and uh, I got a bit of stereo echo happening yeah. as well. So. You can hear the delay coming after. So. Now if I. If I go here, this is my basic solo tone, which switches in a bit more gain and long delay. You know, tone changes a bit, you hear more of the echo come in. Yeah, and you're so. using a little bit of, uh, of the noise gate on that to kind of keep that a little bit down. Exactly, yeah, because yeah. things, of course, get noisier as, you know, the gain goes up. So I've got the gate switched in on there for yeah. solos. Um, so that's really cool. Okay, so basically this sound is like I had to come up with a rotary, uh, you know, Leslie type simulation sound for Black Hole Sun. So yeah. uh, I've got this. You know. So that's, a, you know, the boxy head over there, the divided by 13 head, and then hit this and... Sound. So Very it's really nice. nice to go back and forth from your Leslie thing to your really heavy thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, you know. So this sound, this is a uh, there's a song on Chris's new album called Scream, which is actually the, the title track off his record. That uh, there's like this cool stereo delay thing going on. So yeah. you can hear like the you know guitar comes in up the center, and then I get a left right thing going. Yeah. It's kind of time. So it's like something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there. very cool. Pretty cool. So that's something. Great, man. Um, this sound is like a big ambient uh, thing for swells. There's bread coming yeah. after that. So you have the expression pedal tied in to, to control the wah yeah, part Yeah, actually of it. there's a wah on, on this patch so that if... Yeah, very cool. So 
inside the patch. Yeah. So, so that's the that's the wow of the G system that you're controlling with the expression. Yeah, and the wow of the G system is great. It's actually really cool. Um, it just sounds very natural. Like it never was really an adjustment period trying to get used to. You know, oh, it's a digital wah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. So. Yeah, so I've got, I got a bunch of, you know, Leslie things happening and stuff. There's Chris got a song called Say Hello to Heaven. It's like, uh, you know, a Temple of the Dog song that I came up with a cool Leslie sound. Yeah. Intro. It's like... <laughs> in the G system as well. I don't yeah. have like an outboard compressor or anything like that. So it's like nice for getting some. <laughs> yeah, very cool to get a little more sustain and everything. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Yeah. Um, this this is kind of cool. I've got it, got it set up so the expression pedal actually morphs from like on one end when it's all the way back. I got a tremolo happening in the G system. When I roll it on, uh, it turns into a wah. The tremolo goes away, okay. and then there's a delay that comes in and a big reverb. So very cool. It's it's relatively there's a bit of reverb at this end and a bit of delay. Yeah, you hear a little bit, but not that much, you know. And then when it morphs on, it's, 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 you can hear the tremolo. So it, it just makes it like it's kind of like a wide open palette when you can tie things to an expression pedal that easily. It's like, oh, do I want to, you know, I'm not going to have the feedback go way up on the delay. Yeah. Or the reverb go in at infinity, you know, and do like some really cool stuff. Yeah, I can tell you've been digging into some of the details there by tying several parameters to the same expression pedal. That, yeah, uh, yeah. It's it very opens cool. up a lot of possibilities cool. for yeah. sure. So it's really cool. Showing very, very, very cool stuff, and uh, thanks for having us here. Well, thanks for making that thing. Thanks. It's been great.